thank you so much, Diana, for being here today with us. Could you tell us a bit about yourself? Tell us about your current position and your academic background. Sounds good. Uh, well, um, my name, as you know, is Diana Nino, and uh, I'm originally from Colombia. I moved to the country about, I would say, 12 years ago, give it or take. Um, I'm currently working for uh, by a company called Via Dutch Shape Metal. Um, I studied uh, mechanical engineering at UBC and graduated in 2018. Um, I specialize in the general stream, uh, mostly because I wanted to get a broad sense of the manufacturing area as well as like more in-depth material. And I really like that area, so I, I went for it. Um, I, uh, currently, what I do is a it's a NOTOCAD and BIM detailer sort of role. and. Um, Bioduct essentially provides ventilation systems for commercial high-rise and um, institutional projects all over Lower Mainland. And what I do is I, I'm, I'm pretty much dealing with uh, slab layouts, uh, design, as well as um, eventually I will get into more uh, being detailing, which is understanding how different systems in, in plumbing, electrical, and HVAC um, interact with each other and if there's any clashes when you're designing a build, big, big project. Um, I started this job maybe about a month ago and uh, I'm still learning, so it's very exciting right now for me. Uh, everything is so new and so fresh. Um, so yeah, um, I used to work for, before this, I used to work for a company called White Water West um, and I used to design uh, water slides for a living, but unfortunately due to COVID-19, uh, I was uh, laid off, um, but you know, sad times, but then happy times as well. Uh, my managers and my team were always really good people. So yeah, I'm ready for new adventures. I'm just, you know, learning how to um, manage a new field. Um, and so I'm super happy for the opportunity to learn something new. What stood out to you about mechanical engineering and what made you decide on pursuing it? I think now that looking back into it, um, one of the reasons why I picked mechanical engineering is because it was real broad. Um, you know, you are interested on overall how things move, how systems work, and that really catches my attention, especially in the fabrication side of things for everything. Um, you know, if, if I could summarize mechanical engineering in one word, it would be like, how are we making things? How are they moving? You know, you always yeah. need a mechanical engineer, even for to design certain parts of your glasses, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> and how do you manufacture yeah, sure. them? So, yeah, when, 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 when I chose which type of engineering I liked based on the fact that I liked a little bit of manufacturing, um, I went for mechanical engineering. Um, that would give, I knew that hopefully in the future I will have the opportunity to change fields if I needed to and uh, essentially rely on all the ba all the background knowledge that I got from mm -hmm. school to apply it to a very diversified, you know, portfolio. Um, that tells you, for example, in I used to design water slides for a living and then I now move into this the construction area. And when mm -hmm. I look both of them on the on, on side by side, there's things that transfer both in terms of knowledge as well as in terms of, you know, things that skills that you've learned as you're working. What has been some of the most valuable or most memorable events that has happened over uh, the course of your career? Well, I would say, based on the current circumstances for everyone, um, yeah. one of the most memorable moments was when I lost my job due to the pandemic. Mm -hmm. It right. taught me how, you know, how to how to deal with, um, you know, my confidence, what happened, and. Um, you know, how to stand up in my own defeat once again. Um, it, it, you know, being laid off in trouble all times, is, it's hard as it is. Right. Um, but, um, but, you know, during a pandemic when a, a lot of other people with a lot more experience but also laid off, um, made it, made finding a job like hard and harder. Um, so I think that um, that definitely um, you know, shifted my perspective on how to be prepared, how to understand more, a little bit about myself, learn from myself, and you know, under and, and understand that you have no control, but also build and work towards your confidence and try to increase it. Um, one of the most valuable moments I think that I also experienced was when I was working for Whitewater. Um, 
I I used to design, you know, water slides all over the world mm -hmm. and I got to design one and actually see pictures of people writing wow. it and people telling me like it, writing reviews about it on TripAdvisor saying how fun it was. It was a pretty challenging project. It was one of the first ones that I did and it was two little slides, but it was the coolest thing I've ever seen and seeing people being like, oh, that one was so fast, that one was so cool. And you know, them writing the safety and saying they'll come back or they'll like to try it. For me, it was like, yes, I did something wrong and like I'm creating fun. So that was super cool. What was your most memorable university experiences? So I had a lot. Um, I was uh, I was the um, undergraduate mechanical engineering president for Club Med yep. for my last year of school, and um, before that, I was very involved with 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 you know with the student society, and uh, you know I was participant of like the E Week to a certain extent, and that was really fun. <laughs> um i i went to networking events that was also really really fun uh, but i think the most memorable experience about mm, uh, would be about my university experience i guess it uh, would be to be um like being the student speaker for my convocation ceremony like being chosen and asked to speak to people because i could be someone that uh, people would relate to Right. Um, you know, uh, who we approachable, who struggle, but to survive, that survived, who, you know, cried, but then laughed, um, more, you know, and, and that, and me preparing and being able to sit in front of my class and to, in front of many other people that I actually knew mm -hmm. outside of just the mechanical engineering, mm -hmm. uh, cohort, um, was really exciting. And it took so many months to be prepared because I was so nervous. Um, I wanted to make sure I deliver a quick message um, that meant something to people and I hope it meant something because I still mean it. Um, and that was just the highlight uh, of my undergraduate experience. If you could give one piece of advice to your younger student self, what would it be? Um, I would say, I would say to myself the following words. I would say, it's okay, it will get better, mm -hmm. be patient, everything tr will turn out the way it's supposed to be and you will learn so much about yourself and you'll know the why as to right. why things happen. i know that doesn't make sense to a lot of people but i whenever something happens to me i think why why are these things happening and i t i always tell myself like you know things happen for a reason you right. don't know the why now but eventually you will and it will make sense then so just be patient um, you will get better, you'll get through this and keep pushing one day at a time. Uh, just to wrapping up, what is your favorite part of being an engineer? Oh, I think it is the openness um, mm -hmm. and how diverse it is. Like in general engineering, get, engineers get to um, deal with so many people in different streams and different backgrounds. And I right. really like that. I like it that it, it normalizes um, life in a way mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and you can do pretty much anything as an engineer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can go into business you can go into economy you can go into sciences uh, animals like honestly the mm -hmm. sky is the limit um, as an engineer you I think that they teach you how to learn um, and that is very valuable because that puts up a lot of determination in your life and a lot of um, structure like it gives you a foundation and that is very important wow yeah. that was a very inspiring interview thank you so much for oh, being here thank you thank you crystal oh. that means a lot <laughs>